Do you guys believe in manifestation? Because uh, I kind of do. I kind of do now. Hi vlog. Good evening. So I have an unfortunate series of events that I need to tell you guys about because it kind of ties into the day in the life as a model. And these are the stresses that you have sometimes. I never really talk about this side, this part of my life, but it is kind of something that I think people would be interested in. I've gotten a few messages about it. So I decided to do a vlog type of video, show you what I do in the day, even though it's nighttime right now. So here's a deep dive into problems that you run into as a model that you would not really think about until it happens. <laughs> and this just happened to me and I'm stressing out because my event is tomorrow and I have to wake up at 6 a.m. So I knew I had my event coming up this Saturday, but the problem is I fell out of my car. Okay, I completely biffed it. I hurt my nails, shattered my phone, and I also hurt my knee, like, hurt it, hold on. I hurt it really bad, okay? I'm wearing shorts for my event. I don't get to choose what I wear. They just send me an outfit. It's just bad. So my plan tonight is to try and cover it as best I can. And then in the morning, I'm gonna put some makeup on it. We'll see, we'll see if that even works. So I got this like new skin liquid bandage stuff. I'm gonna put it on, we'll see. So I think it's gonna be kind of interesting to see how this event goes tomorrow because it's actually a car show. I've never been to any type of car show like this before. I don't even know if it's outside or inside actually, that's a good point. Clean affected area, apply small amount on area three times a day, let it dry. <laughs> it's kind of gruesome. It's like 11 p.m. I need to go to bed so bad. It's literally like nail polish. Oh shoot, I'm spilling it everywhere. Oh my gosh, it smells like nail polish. Oh, 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 I'm making a mess. This is burning so bad. I don't think this is healthy. This literally smells like straight up 100% acetone. I'm just putting it on my cut. Okay, worst comes to worst, I bought these huge sheer band-aids. I know they're not gonna be happy with me if I wear these though, so we'll see. I bought some new makeup from Ulta. I'm gonna use this e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. I'm excited to see how well it sticks. I've heard like really good results. Don't mind my pimple patch. I'm going to whiten my teeth. I've already shaved, I've tanned, I did my nails. We're gonna go through the whole routine tomorrow and I'll show you guys my full glam look. Honestly, you shouldn't have any lessons from me because I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just, I'm just learning as I go, okay? She's cute, she's a little halter top. Okay, I think I have everything packed up for tomorrow, so I will see you bright and early, probably at like 5 a.m. I, I just, I don't, I don't wanna do this. <laughs> No part of me right now wants to get full glam. You gotta do what you gotta do, okay? We're gonna plug in my curling iron. We're gonna start doing my eyes and go from there. This stuff does wonders. I am a hot girl, a hot girl with issues sometimes. <laughs> So I have to be there at 9.30 because I am the one that has all of the uniforms for the other girls as well. I kind of have to be there a little earlier than everyone else and it's stressing me out because I am I'm what you would call an overthinker. So then if I need to be there at 9.30, then I like sit back and I'm like, how long does it take for me to get ready? And am I going to be okay? And what if something goes wrong? Because I'm the one that's, you know, 
in charge here. It's not a good look. I'm not kidding you, before I got on camera, I did like a little breathing exercise. Not because I'm nervous to talk to you guys, just because today, today's a little stress. Okay, I'm gonna put concealer on, do my eyebrows, Okay, so I always do a very basic just bronzer on my lid first and I will go in with some like undertones of pink because my eyes are pretty blue. When I do just mostly brown, it doesn't like accentuate my eyes, but when I put a little bit of pink, like nudie pinks on my eyelid, it really like kind of brings out my eyes more. But for the most part, they just like you to be a neutral queen with like a pop of a cut crease glitter moment and then obviously fake eyelashes. Okay. It looks like I kind of have a black eye because I don't have like eyeliner and stuff on but I just want to show you the smokiness of this eye. It's kind of pulling more like dark on this but it's more like a pinky color. I'm gonna go in with concealer. I'm gonna try and do a cut crease. We'll see how that goes. I think I can do this on camera. We'll see. Yeah, like that. <laughs> wow, look at me go. That one was worse. Hold on. Okay, I'm feeling a little better, feeling more awake. I'm a little stressed because I feel like this is taking longer than I think it is. <sighs> I just put on some eyeliner, mascara. Now I'm going to glue on some eyelashes and get to doing my face. I'm excited. Got the eyelashes on, got the primer on. I'm following this like incredible makeup tutorial right now of a glam makeup thing. Blend with lighting eyeshadow, other side. Brown eyeliner, other side. Heating up. I'm excited, I'm excited. I know how to do glam, but like she does it to another level. So it's gonna turn out good. Side, that under eyes, other side. Dump, other side, that center of forehead. Set forehead with powder bronzer. Set cheeks with powder bronzer. I'm looking snatched. Okay, this is the final look. <laughs> okay, now I really, really, really need to start curling my hair. This is kind of a problem, but it's fine. We're fine. Found this new method that has been working pretty dang well for making my curls last longer. So you have to curl it from like the top and apparently clamp curling irons are pretty bad for you so you just kind of treat it you just kind of treat it like it's a wand but the biggest part is when the curl is done you want to catch it in your hand and let it cool off in like the coiled motion so let me show you catch oops not a catch that was a fumble i fumbled that realistically you want to catch it oh my gosh and hold it okay i almost forgot about you guys but i didn't don't worry about me. I'm in a bikini. I don't know if you can see. See? And then I wear this top. I have not been having the best body image like whatsoever, okay? But today is a new day. It is show time. I can show no insecurity. I'm a confident gal. Period. Okay. It's show time. I gotta put my jacket on. I gotta pack up all of my stuff because I have it legitimately everywhere. <sighs> I think I should shave. Whatever. I don't have time. These are all of the uniforms. <sighs> I gotta find my lip gloss. I might make a coffee, but I'm not sure. I don't know if you can see this, but I covered it up pretty nicely. I'm currently making some coffee because I feel like I kind of need it. It's, I was gonna say it's baking. It's, it's going. I don't know. I'm not a coffee connoisseur, but I will say my Nespresso does what I need it to do. I would love to learn how to like ground my own coffee beans and like do the whole espresso shot thing, but I just haven't had time for that. Okay, let's get this show on the road. I'm stuck in traffic. I am stuck in traffic. I repeat. I'm fine. It's fine. Um, I'm the one with the uniforms. It says I'm already two minutes late. Of course there had to be a crash because that's, it's fine. 
Okay, I just got here. I think my hair is still curled. I really hope it stays curled. But yeah, I'm probably gonna switch over to my phone so I'm not annoying and I don't get fired because I can't just bring like a whole camera. But my phone, my phone should be good. I will see you guys at the event. Okay, so we've walked around. We have just, what What do we do? I don't know, hand out samples. Yeah, now we're warming up because, oh, sorry, <laughs> sorry. Now inside, it's so cold, so the sun is warming us up. And then I think we're gonna go on stage and throw some hats. <laughs> Woo! my gosh I just got done that was literally hours and hours and hours of standing and walking and taking pictures but overall so fun and I'm so grateful to be able to do this and meet amazing people and learn about things that I would have never known about honestly I'm not a car girl but it was really cool to learn everything something did kind of happen during the event and it was like it was a little crazy for a second, not gonna lie. So we just got a police escort out of the building. <laughs> but when I get to a better place, I'll tell that story. I know none of this is like aesthetically pleasing. So if you're watching this vlog thinking that it's gonna be aesthetically cutesy and pleasing, I'm not the girly for you. I'm eating my devil eggs that I made. And I got to tell you guys what happened, but I'm so freaking hungry. So I'm going to eat these eggs first. <gasps> oh, I almost dropped it, but I didn't. Mm, mm, mm. Comment down below if you're a deviled eggs fan. Okay, so not to name names or give very specific details because I do have a job and I don't want to lose that job if that if that makes sense. So I was at my event, okay? Super fun. Everyone was so nice. All the people were so great. And I learned a lot of things. So we're sitting there at the very end of the event. And for this event, they have like, they have an award ceremony, right? So we're sitting there standing on stage, holding the awards. And then people are coming up and like grabbing the awards, all this stuff. So while that's happening, there is people like walking around around us on the stage and they're like getting the other awards ready. So there's this man that happens to be like walking behind us. Come to find out he didn't really like work for the people that put on the event. So it's not, it's not anything to do with the people that put on the event, they were great. But there was this man and he was like, hey, to my friend that was standing next to me, he was like, hey, look over there. And I'm gonna take like a picture. So she was like, what? And she like looked somewhere else. And he bent down behind her and like snapped a pic with her behind because her behind had a logo of who I was working for. So he like thought that that would be like a cutesy little photo to take to be like, haha, I am, I don't know. I like this brand or I don't know his intentions. Okay. It was on stage. We were both stunned. We didn't know what to say. We didn't know like, if he was like working for the company or like we could confront him, all this stuff. So later on, we confront him. My friend confronts him. Security gets involved. I don't want to go into too much detail, but it was fine. He deleted the video and photo. Yeah. I also ate an empanado, so that was good. That's the end of the tea though.
very interesting day. Okay, I'm changed. We are going out to eat to my husband's home. But here's the kicker. Today has been an interesting day. I got invited to do a photo shoot tomorrow and the photo shoot is three hours away. So I guess this isn't just gonna be a vlog on today, but I'm gonna take you on my adventure tomorrow. Hell yeah. Mm, I don't know what to do now on the camera. You like my fit though? Yeah, it's pretty fly. Yeah, got the blazers, you got the Nike uh, balloon pants. Fire. We are driving to West Palm Beach. It's a three hour drive. I need to get some coffee. I'm kind of in a hurry. Fit. Let's go. Feels kind of cold out here. Okay, we are in the car. I need to go get some coffee. The sun is rising soon, so that's... Oh, I just threw on my blanker. Okay, okay, you can't even see me. Ah! Okay, I got some coffee. I'm like mapping to my destination. I'm barefaced because it's so cold. They're actually doing my hair and makeup. If I don't pee, I'm gonna be right on time. I wonder if you can even hear me because you're on my phone right now. But one, I am 45 minutes away. I got stuck behind a semi and it was literally, it took so long to get around him. So I added like 10 minutes, but I'm fine. And on top of that, I'm listening to this book, Becoming Supernatural by Dr. Joe Dispenza. If you guys have not looked into Joe Dispenza and you like neuroscience, you should absolutely listen to him. I just got here. We're at an Airbnb. I'm getting my hair makeup done and then we're going. Hi! I'm so excited! Okay, so while the other girl gets ready, I'm going to be editing my podcast for a second. This place is beautiful. Yes. <laughs> okay, we just moved to our second destination. This is the shoot outfit. The water is so blue, I can't even capture it on camera. Okay, I've taken so many photos, but this is so fun. <laughs> okay, I look a little beat, a little crazy. It's only like, it's eight and I have a three hour drive home. I've only been shooting content and photos for like seven hours, I don't even know. But I'm invigorated because it was just so fun. Like I don't even care, okay? It doesn't feel like work. It's not work, it's fun. Anyways, here's my little mukbang of my um, gas station treat run before I drive home. Got the coffee. Yes, I'm drinking coffee at 8 p.m. because I need to stay awake. Secondly, peppered beef jerky. Not anything else. The peppered one is the one you need. Some gum. 
oh shoot oh 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 snap and i saw these quest protein like they're like okay they're peanut butter m&ms but they're like protein filled i guess i don't know seemed kind of fun to like you know crunch on as i'm like driving listening to my book overall beautiful day this is like the first actual vlog model day in my life that i've done and i haven't obviously looked at any of the footage but i hope you guys liked this because this was just the best day ever like gosh i hope i convey how fun this day actually was <sighs> now i'm gonna drive home i'm not excited Okay, it's been a few days and I've had to just I've had to just sit here and reflect on the weekend that I just had. I am bare faced because I don't want to wear any more makeup, okay? I've worn worn a lot of makeup. So bear with me. I'm just kidding. I just have a few things to say. One, I need to explain to you guys how crazy this weekend was for me because I never thought that like manifestation or like even speaking things into existence was like what could happen for me i have been saying to my husband for like a few weeks now that i've been wanting to do like more photo shoots i've been wanting to do like bikini photo shoots because i'm always at the beach or just more photo shoots in, gen in general i didn't really know how that was going to be possible i just like kept saying that i wanted to do that it just it just happened like it literally just worked out everything worked out the people were so nice i had such a blast at the shoot gosh if you have something just start speaking it into existence start talking about it start claiming it anything that could work with literally anything i know this might be a little all over the place but i hope you get what i'm saying okay also if you're interested in more of my yap sessions i have a podcast coming out earth day so april 20 april the 22nd and Gosh, I'm just so excited to share more of my thoughts with you. If you want to see a little sneak peek of like what this podcast is gonna like kind of like look like, feel like, you can watch this video here. This is my first time ever doing just like a pure vlog. So if you liked it, let me know. Let me know in the comments what your dreams are, what your hopes are. Speak it into the existence in the comments below. Subscribe. <laughs> subscribe. Follow my Instagram at Brighton Bridges with two S's. Until next time. Bye.